guys, my name is I'm Ketsu Glorpams, and in this video we're going to start playing the Da Vinci Code, the game, which was developed by the Collective and published by 2K Games. It was released on multiple platforms, the 19th of May 2006 in North America, and the 16th of May 2007 in Europe. Its genres are stealth, adventure, combat, and puzzle. I'll be playing this blindly, except for the first couple of videos. I will only play through the story mode, but as I said before, I'm playing this blindly, so I don't know if there's anything else, though I doubt it. I will cut out me dealing with puzzles that will take a long time, and I will also get small helps from walkthrough if I'm struggling with the game. Some hands. Oh, I thought it was just a loading picture. I think that looks angry. Is that? What? Did he just hang his thigh? No. Oh. Gay? Silas. Okay, so now we know we have to be on the lookout for Silas. But not the way I'd imagine. Considering he got a, had a gun. Followed by an unexpected invitation to a crime scene. Professor Langdon, thank you for coming. I am Captain Bezu Fash. Do you know this man? Shocks in the air. Curator of the Louvre. I was supposed to meet him tonight after my speech. Follow me. I'm seeing what. It wasn't Silas. It seems Monsieur Sommier put up quite a fight. Yeah, that is the guy from before. Why is he so. No. Why didn't he do that? Oh, clever. Not half run, Monsieur Sonier. Now, tell me where it is. Please, I beg you. Now, it would be very useful if you actually use nuance instead of pronouns. I guess he had told, said what it is before. The bars were not defense. I believe you. Others told me the same. Ooh. The others, who could that be? Hmm. Why why would he need to kill multiple people and ask them the well, ask multiple people the question and then kill them? What the And cut a pentagram into the stomach. You saw the photograph? So this should be of no surprise. Well, I didn't see it. Examine the body, Mr. Langdon. Okay. A new objective: search Sonia's body for clues relating to his death. Okay. Examine. Ah. Move mouse to pan the camera while the camera is over a point of interest. Press left mouse. Pentacle. It's a pentacle. One of the oldest symbols on Earth, used over 4,000 years before Christ. Devil worship. No, the pentacle is a pre-Christian symbol that relates to nature worship. The ancients envisioned the oh. world in two halves, masculine and feminine. This pentacle is representative of the female half of all things, a concept religious historians call the sacred feminine or divine goddess. Sonnier of all people would know this. Sonnier drew a goddess symbol on his stomach? Yes, he caught himself. Wait, he did. 
Right. Um, Sonia's feet. The position of his feet reinforces the reference to the pinnacle and the sacred feminine. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Replication. Repeating a symbol is the simplest way to strengthen its meaning. Jacques Sonnier oh. positioned himself in the shape of a five pointed star. Clever. <laughs> Interesting analysis. I like that we aren't actually doing anything, we're just pointing on things and then he figures out the rest. Naked, folded his clothes, and put them away from himself? Pardon? It's rather meticulous for a dying man. I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. Even his nudity may have meaning. Uh, what do you Jesus think Christ! His own blood as ink? Literally. Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at the <laughs> left hand. Now it's my turn to confuse you. My fancy terminology. Uh, that's right. Oh, that is left. Right. He's clutching we always get that problem. Marker. It smells like alcohol. Well, Sonia was holding it when we found him. As I told you, we have touched nothing. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. Oh, Draconian Daryl, oh lame saint. saint. That, monsieur, is precisely the question you are here to answer. Part of it looks like a numeric cipher. Yes, our cryptographers are already working on it. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him. Uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Uh, wouldn't you agree? An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. Uh, he lived in Paris. And yet he chose to write this message... In English? Precisely, oh. Monsieur Langdon. I so what does that mean? I have death in my work. And let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure... Spiritual Just to fuck with the police. No one understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. Not vengeance. I believe Sonia wrote this note to tell us who killed him. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonia was attacked by someone he had apparently invited. Couldn't he just have written down a name or something? I would assume that if Sonia wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Yeah. Exactly. Precise more, precise more. Capitaine. Oh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, oui. Uh, Capitaine, un agent de département de cryptographie est arrivé. Unacceptable, I made it very clear. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment. I have deciphered the numeric code. Uh, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? Okay. The U.S. Embassy asked that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? Our next mission. This line is secure. You may use it. Oh, that's too easy. This is a beautiful place. Bonjour. Vous êtes bien chez Sophie Neveu. Je suis absent pour le moment, mais... Uh, absent le... I'm sorry. Mr. Absent, Lord, maybe. I think you may have given me the wrong. No, that is the right number. It's the three digit code on the paper I gave you. But. The embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. She handed me the a note. Oh. I should look at that. So we are going to have a problem with that. Um, so, wait, I didn't. The two to, uh, Q? Yes. Cell phone, no. Number, business card, no. Matches, what? Assuming it's this one. Pretty odd she gave me you know, but some bat some matches. Salmon. Okay. Hey, there it is. Ah, ah. this is the number I'm supposed to He said I was holding it upside down. It is the Fibonacci you. sequence. A progression. Um, just phone called three digit number. Wait, I didn't get to see what the number was. No. I pressed down twice. Back. Okay. Salmon. Like that, okay. Five, four, five, four. Right. My woman finds it very silly that back is the mouse. Yet though you are required to use the keys. Okay, cell phone use. 
Never heard of it. Mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci created the succession of numbers in the 13th century. Obviously, there can be no coincidence that all of the numbers Sonia wrote on the floor belong to Fibonacci's oh. famous sequence. W what is he saying? What does this mean? Absolutely nothing. That what? is the point. It is simply oh, my a cryptographic was. joke. Like taking the, the hell? Of a famous poem and just accept numlock. To see if anyone recognizes it does get the numpad even though no, it is turned on. No oh, well, um, enter. That's a bomb on the floor, and it's gonna go off in 10 seconds. Follow my directions very closely. Tell Fash the phone message is regarding an injured friend back home. Then ask to use the restroom at the end of the Grand Gallery. Captain, considering what you have at stake here tonight, I thought you might appreciate knowing that Jacques Sonnier might be playing games with you. Apparently not. I will inform the Director of Cryptography you no longer need our services. Everything all right? An accident, a friend. I'll need to fly home first thing in the morning. Who would you like to sit down? Actually, I think I'd like to use the restroom. The restrooms are at the end of the Grand Gallery. Shall I accompany you? What? Not necessary. I, I think I'd like a few minutes alone. I must return Hopefully to you only meant two office the office for a moment. Uh, please come find me directly when you are finished in La Toilette. Really? We need to discuss. You have to say it on French. Toilet. Bell changed the word neither. Uh. What? Thank God you came. We don't have much time. I wanted to warn you, Monsieur Lenin. Oh. You are she was she one talking for. Under a guarded observation. But why? Because fascist primary suspect in this murder is you. Look in your jacket oh. pocket. You will find proof they are tracking you. Just look. What is this? It's a GPS tracking dot. It continuously transmits its location to a global positioning system satellite that the DCPJ can monitor. We use them to monitor people's locations. It's accurate within two feet anywhere on the globe. They have you on an electronic leash in case you decide to run. In fact, they hope you do run because it would make their case much stronger. Why would I run? I'm innocent. Do you recall the three lines of text that Sonia wrote on the floor? What you saw was not the entire message. This is a photo of the complete message. Why would Sonia write this? Can we Can get we to see the photo? Me? No. He wrote it for me. The number there. code is meaningless. He has Sonia wrote it to make Robert sure Lang. the investigation included cryptographers. Ensure Surely that's... No, it's a PhD or something. To him. Why you specifically? How do you know it wasn't for I'd some say other sure that's more of Robert Lang than one. the nickname he called me when I lived with him. It stood for Princess Sophie. We had a falling out ten years ago. Jacques Sonnier. He, uh, he was my grandfather. Where's Langdon? Uh, still in the men's room, sir. We are seeing small movements, so the GPS dot is obviously still on him. Uh, perhaps he feels ill. If he had found the dot, he would have removed it and tried to run. Hmm. Fine. What should oh, I do? Can you know that? Fash will be taking you into custody any minute. Okay, no, I'm not just insane and do completely irrational we things. We get you out of here, but we need to act now. You want me to run? It's the smartest thing you could do. If you stay, you will spend weeks in a French jail. But if you get to your embassy, then your government can protect you while I prove you had nothing to do with this murder. Forget it. You need to tell Fash that the message on the floor was for you, and that my name is not there as an accusation. Fash is convinced you are guilty. The only way to get you out is with a distraction. The GPS tracking dot? We need them to think you are running. If we can throw it out the window onto one of the cars going by, I bet a lot of the police would clear out. How the heck the dot does would we go about doing that? Cram. See if you can find something to attach it to that would make it heavier. Okay. Ah, clever enough to let you use wasp. Um, soap. I can yes. use this. Soap? Just that will work. Dab it into Come, it. Help me open this window. I smell. I about to say I smell. Quick time events. Alarm! Grand Gallery! Toilette, messieurs! Where's Langdon? Still in the men's room. He must have broken the window. I knew it! He is trying to escape! 
Quick, Robert, help me get this window open. Hurry, Robert. Langdon, you're not quite a gentleman. She needs to ask you twice before you start. By the way, did I mention I smell a button and then... Ah, what? Uh. Hurry, Robert. Hooah! Good. That was an interesting button event. Um, right. Uh, so, E, combine. So much tracker. Yes. Use. There weren't any cars. Ah. Uh. No, it's much worse. He's turned into a piece of soap. Oh, that's so gonna be a quick time event. Well, what am I supposed to be around for? E, W. He is moving south, faster, uh, crossing the sand on Pont du Carousel. Bring my car round. I want to Ha -ha. make the arrest. Hooray for not being insane. That's not the exact same thing, but close enough. Oh, draconian devil. Oh, lame saint. The scrambled Fibonacci sequence is a clue. The numbers are a hint as to how to decipher the rest of the message. He wrote the sequence out of order to tell us to apply the same concept to the text. Oh, draconian devil. Oh, lame saint. Those lines mean nothing. They are simply letters written out of order. You think this message is an anagram? Like a world jumble from a newspaper? Your grandfather's meaning was right in front of us all along, and he left us more than enough clues to see it. Let me see that photo. Oh, lame saint. Hmm. What the? Oh, we're supposed to use map. Unfortunately, I cannot complete this puzzle because a long time ago I played through the beginning of the level. I know you can get hit. An anagram is when the letters of a word yes, or I know. words are mixed up to form other words. And I'll say. I'm not sure where to begin. Well, the most common three-letter word is D. Yes. Boop. Drip. Drip. Um, let's see. Drip do Mona Lisa. Yeah. I have, though I have played very little of the game. I got to three puzzles or so, got introduced to the Find the mechanic and then decrypt it, and then I stop. The Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci. I can't imagine how your grandfather created such intricate anagrams in the minutes before he died. My grandfather probably created these anagrams long ago. What is important is that he wanted me to see something at the painting. You're going to the Mona Lisa? Now? I am not the murder suspect. I'll take my chances. I need to understand what my grandfather was trying to tell me. What about the embassy? The signs will lead you to a security turnstile. Mine is the car in the employee lot. Do you know how to get to the embassy? Whatever my grandfather was trying to tell me, I don't think he wanted anyone else to find it. As strange as it may sound, I think he wants me to get to the Mona Lisa before anyone else does. I'll come. No. We don't know how long the Grand Gallery will stay empty. You have to go now. I will see you at the embassy, Monsieur Langdon. And we are now a girl. Anyway, I'm getting the video of that, so leave your feedback and follow me comment or what was that? Hurt my ears. Comment ratings so I improve me I've improved my future content. Cheerios and may have a good life. Mm -hmm.